Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And the Carolina Panthers have re signed long snapper JJ Jansen to a one year deal. Um, yeah, this is a decent re signing for the Carolina Panthers and a first move for them in their offseason as they get started. They've been hiring a lot of play, a lot of coaches and stuff. And I like the move for them because, you know, they definitely. Have a lot of they have a lot of stuff to work on this season. They really do, um, with the draft and free agency, and got the new head coach in with Frank Wright. I love it. And the reason I wanted to talk about this today is because of how much of a legend JJ Jansen is in Carolina. He's the longest li he's the longest lasting Carolina Panther as of right now. He's played the most games as in the Panthers uniform in NFL in sorry not in NFL history in Panther history he's he's the he's he's played the most games for the Panthers in history um so he's been he's he's the longest tendered 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 player on this Carolina Panthers roster um and he's a long snapper i just see a lot of similarities some similarities with you know I mean, be, me being a Texans fan, um, we have our long snapper, John Weeks. He's been with our franchise for a, for a while, since 2010. He's J.J. Jansen's been with the Panthers since 2011. And if you also look back, and J.J.'s been with the Panthers through goods and bads, um, super, even a Super Bowl, really, really bad times, really good times. John Weeks is he, with the Texans. He's been there through the good playoff moments. Been through the really horrible times where last couple of seasons we've been one of the worst teams in probably uh, in foot in football um, the last three seasons. And you know he's been there for some good playoff wins. But my similarity my similarities is these two guys are both long snappers. They're both very devoted to their franchises loyal they're really and it's not just about the position or the loyalty they're both really great long snappers and um you know when i look at it that way i hope the texans can resign john weeks this this offseason because he's a big target he's a big part of our team um he, does, he doesn't show it in a lot of ways but he he's, he's a really big part of this texans team so i mean and he hasn't been as good as he's gotten as he used to when he was older when he was younger but he's still a really good player for his age john weeks is like 37 but getting back to jj i think jj's probably a little bit better than john he's really good really good special teams player he's a really good long snapper um and i really really like the resetting for the panthers um a couple reasons why I like it. Special teams is really important in football. That's number one. Number two, it's awesome to keep the guy who you know has been with your franchise for a while when there's a lot of new guys in the area. That's why I've always liked the Texans keeping around John Weeks uh, for all these years when the Texans have been going into young rebuild. Not only young rebuild, but um, you know, getting rid of all their long guys. JJ's gone. Clowney's been gone for a while, but Clowney's gone. Merciless is gone. Uh, Watson wasn't here, you know, during the old days, but Watson's gone. Hopkins is gone. Fuller's gone. Everybody, you name them, they're gone. And the Texans kept John Weeks because he's, he's just that big of, you know, a guy for their franchise. Um, longest tender Texan. And, and the, J.J. Jansen, he, hold, he, he holds the same purpose for the Carolina Panthers. You know he won't he won't win you ball games, but he's big for special teams, and so is John Weeks for the Houston Texans. And um, honestly, in my opinion, I think those you got, you know, they're old, they're both old, but I think those those are two of the finest long snappers you'll find in football with JJ Jansen and John Weeks. So, congrats to JJ Jansen for you know another another upcoming year with this Carolina Panthers team. Been with them since 2011. John Weeks has been with the Texans since 2010. So those guys are heading in to their, what, well, John Weeks is not official yet. I don't know if the Texans are going to be bringing him back. But John Weeks has finished up his 12th season as a Texan. Um, JJ's going into his 13th year as a Panther. So uh, I think the long snapper position is a really underrated, uh, is a really underrated position in football. 
and and I think that that's definitely a good re-signing for the Panthers. And like I said, I love it for you know bringing in someone who's very familiar. The fran- lo- franchise loves him. Um, you know, John Weeks is really loved by the franchise by Houston franchise as well. So. Um, definitely a good re-signing. I don't know too much about him and what he does on the field. I do. I have seen a couple good, really good, nice pictures, and it was looks from a while ago. But he's really he can really make some nice plays on special team. Where you know keeping it inside the one, he's he's done that a, a, a lot of times over the years um, on punts. But he's a really really good long snapper and. Honestly, that's a good way to start the Panthers off season. You guys have your thoughts on the re-signing for the Panthers. No, it's not huge, but and the I think the long snapper position is very underrated and um we'll see what happens with the Panthers the rest of the off season. I think it's gonna be a very interesting off season for the Panthers, see what they do at quarterback, what they do the rest of the way, how they upgrade the defense, and it's gonna be really interesting to see what the Carolina Panthers do this off season. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember your thoughts and peace out.